Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you a-okay? In your neck of the woods? What up? What up? Manners and respect, man. Are your girl, Debbie from Donga Yard. Welcome you all to the Jamaican kitchen. Welcome once more. It is the Jamaican cooking journey. If you're new right on over here, special welcome to you. Thank you so very much. Those of you who were there from, with me from the beginning of the journey and you're still here, manners and respect. On today's episode of the Jamaican cooking journey, we'll be doing for you a butterfly fried chicken. Butterfly fried fowl. So, you want to have your whole chicken and you want to get it cleaned and at the, the, the breast, you want to cut it in half. I should have showed you that. But family, the water is so much on me. So I know you just cut it at the breast, not at the back. And then you will have it looking like this, looking definitely like a butterfly. That's how I do mine. Some people proceed to take out the backbone. Some people do it at the breast. This is how I do it. This is me, do you. So I am going to be turning this over now on this side. You know, I'm going to be turning it over. I'm going to be putting some little pokes in the legs and the thighs and stuff. And on the breast, these two parts are the breast. Look at them here. So I'm going to be poking a few holes in them. It's cleaned already, properly washed and properly drained. So I am used doing this to help it to fry evenly, to soak through properly and also to absorb some seasoning. When you do it right on here, you don't have to put it on the other, um, to turn it over to do that. Okay? So I'm going to go wash my hands and return. Okay, now... I have my chicken here. You need to put your chicken flat out on something abroad. You know, I've got here some dry seasoning mix. And this is mostly herbs. You know my thing. But I will leave for you in the interest of time. I won't say no. I'll leave for you in the description. I'll definitely do it because you're going to need it. The ingredients that I use in this. We are going to be using this. Along, that salt is in there already. And I have mixed it thoroughly. To get a, a, a seasoned mix okay so now you're gonna be using your season your seasoning mix to thoroughly rub your chicken and I've used this specific mix to give my chicken a golden to let when my chicken is finished frying I'll have a golden color so this is what I have I'll be rubbing under the wings gently a little at a time a little at a time i'll also be turning over on the other side and i'll be doing you're gonna get some in these little areas as i told you some people would do it from the other end and they would take out the backbone but you can do that if you please me like my bone don't know that from mukbang and all of them something don't know me love bone so you have gotten the picture i leave as i said for you the ingredients of this mix yes that you can have that color so now that you have gotten the picture you're going to be seasoning from one side to the other i'm going to go finish this and when i return i'll show you what to do next Masun, come. properly seasoned from one side to the other and remember to try and get some of the breast inside here as it opens up you open up you try and get a little seasoning inside because you know the breast or the dress part them all them go already you know properly seasoned from side to side with this color so we're going to leave it now for if you're if your ac is on you can just cover it with something and then you can leave it on your cover top the temperature will be cool enough if you if you if you want to put it in your refrigerator you can do it overnight i'm going to be using leaving this for about probably about half an hour or about 20 minutes you don't want when you're finished seasoning it water is dropping from it it must be dry okay so i'm gonna leave it right here and i'm gonna cover it something i'm gonna go now get my dry mix i'm gonna use some dry seasoned flour to coat it so when i return i'll be using just some of this in my season in my flour to season it just that so when me when i return hello please how they do the water is getting to my brain no water 
my brain is surely shutting down. When I return, this season flower will be properly done. And you know, if you just put your flower in your season, in your flower, and coat it up. Just mix it up. And I'm going to be using right over here this deep, 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 deep frying pan with a heavy bottom. And when I return, the oil will be preheated that when I put my chicken down in there, it is covered up almost three quarters, a little more than half. So when we come back, I should be eating. Chicken should be ready to be coated. And we have a proceed from there. Butterfly fried chicken may soon come. Okay, so now, family, we are back. I'm right on over here preheating my oil whilst I also am frying up some fresh garlic because I have no garlic on my chicken. There's no garlic powder in this seasoning mix. So if you want to add your garlic powder, you can go ahead to add adding it after to what I, I leave for you. Or if you want to just make your own seasoning mix, it's okay. It's up to you. So I'm frying off some garlic. The skillet is, the, the, the bottom is thick. So I'm frying off the garlic and I'm doing it on medium. Now I have my flour here, my dry rub. And I'll, as I told, it would be just be some all-purpose flour and some of the seasoning mix. So I'm going to remove my chicken now very gently. And I'm going to proceed to start coating with the flour. You want to mostly do the outside first, the skin side first, and try. It's going to be a little messy. As soon as you start using flour to do, um, to do dry rub, anything have to do with flour, it always gets messy. So you got to have to clean up after. Some people, when they watch your videos and whilst you're doing this and some flour spill, they edit out because they're afraid people is going to say, oh, it's nasty, it's messy. Good kitchens are always messy. Okay? So you want to lift up under those wings and you want to make sure under those wings are properly coated because you want to get this cruncher pan this folia over and under as you go along. Oil is being preheated. Shake the excess off. Turn to the other side and you start doing the same. You have gotten the picture. I'm going to finish this now. Go finish this. And when I return, my oil will be heated and I'll be putting in this chicken to fry me soon come okay now family properly coated and you want to gently shake this excess dry from flour from it until you see it starts it stops shaking that excess okay now your oil is here on the skin side you're gonna gently gently be careful in this skillet here okay you see i told you you are to add the oil and you have to turn on your range of up there for grease you know the catching of the grease you're not going to cover it that is where you're going to get the crumbs so we are going to leave it to fry on the medium preheat it on medium fry it at a little bit above medium depending on your stove some people medium good some of them you have to set it up a bit so you're going to fry it at this stage and we are going to fry it and then we are going to fry from one side to the other. Remember, we stuck some little pokes in there to let the heat go through it. So, when we are ready to turn, we are going to come. Maybe we are going to come and show you. I'm not sure. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes it's sort of sticky to turn. But I'll try to let you see how to turn it without you getting hurt and making too much mess. So, we are there. Frying on the medium. Inside down. Me soon come. Okay, now family, our chicken is out. Pretty, nice brown. This crunchy on the back of it. Now look at the oil over here. Because we fried it on the medium, this is how the oil looks. We didn't have it all burned. So I'm going to leave it here on the wire rack with paper towel underneath. Whilst there is another container there. Leave it to drip all the juices. When I return, or when we return, it will be all plated. I butterfly butterfly fried chicken. I'm having a lot of problems, family. Water, water. But I am working on something. So I should be good with everything by the weekend. You can see say my stress up. But I'm holding on. I'm giving thanks. And thanks for those of you who are praying me. Thank you so much. So I'm soon come back. When we come back, this thing you're ready for eat. I'm soon come. Okay, now family, we are back. 
our trained chicken is here and I'm going to present it to you. But before I present it to you, I want to tell you this. Some people may ask, some people may not. The reason for draining, the reasons for me draining it on the paper towel is to omit all the excess greases, let them drain, number one. Number two, and also important, when you drain on your paper towel, how you know it's properly done, you will not see any bloody water remaining. When you see bloody water drip from it on the paper towel, it's not properly done. So when you finish draining from your paper towel, this is how your grease must look. If it, there's grease and bloody water draining, it's not properly cooked. Let me present to you. Okay? Honestly, I'm going to wrap up on me. I tell you thing, let me know. Look at me here. Look at me. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your plate, to your Thanksgiving, to your Christmas dinner table, and most of all, to your stomach. It is butterfly, butterfly fried chicken. Please do enjoy. Now, if you have liked this video, all I have of you is to give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed to the Jamaican Cooking Journey. Even though the seminar post, I'm working on not posting as regularly. It's the holiday season, I know, but I've got to get things in order. I've got to get proper running water and all of that. So we are working and we're almost there. So remember to make sure you're subscribed when you do subscribe. Make sure to hit the notification bell. When you do, leave your comments below in our decent forms. Therefore, I can reply to you. You know, I am back on my comments, but I'm battling a lot. But we will tell you about it. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Debbie from Dongayad, bless, no stress.